वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम अ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विद अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोस फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी आल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस let us continue to watch our today's video hello friends welcome to power plant guru's new video on mean space temperature in gas turbine there are many viewers who are asking about this topic but uh, you know somehow i could not uh, create a video on this so here is a small precise video on wheel space temperature we will talk about its significance how the measurement is done and then how the different sensors are uh, named so that you can correlate what is the name so that what will be the position accordingly so let us go into deep uh, understanding of this so if you see here in this chart uh, you might be aware that gas turbine is a kind of uh, you know a uh, device where you have your uh, exhaust gases which are coming uh, uh, into the turbine and there will be static and rotary uh, blades uh, staged uh, one after other and they give that uh, motion to the generator so tp is transition phase uh, so transition phase is doing what it is taking exhaust gases from the other side and transitioning transitioning it to the rotating parts so if you see the first part first part is you know uh, there let us talk about all three uh, major uh, components here so if you see here it will is main is a nozzle so nozzle is what nozzle is a static part of a gas turbine which direct or uh, you know uh, put a flow direction to the uh, flue gas path so nozzle is a static uh, uh, blade in fact you can say and then there is a uh, you know uh, bucket bucket is a rotating part so a rotating part if you see that rotating part would be fixed on the you know your uh, rotor which is on the turbine center line so these these uh, buckets will be rotating and there will be another piece which is uh, called a shroud so shroud is fixed on the turbine casing from the other side from the top side and it will have a very minor clearance overhead so that uh, whatever gases are passing from this phase it will pass through nozzle so nozzle will direct it on uh, the best angle to minimize the losses on buckets and all the gases should pass between these uh, hitting hitting the buckets so that the, there is a minimum loss uh, from this side and then again it will go to the second stage of nozzle and then second stage of uh, buckets and then buckets are locked with second stage of shroud and then third stage nozzle third stage bucket and shroud so this is how the path will be there uh, nozzles are static buckets are rotating shrouds are the one which are holding them in uh, you know position so what is a wheel space so this is a this space is called wheel space the void space between static and rotating blade that is called the wheel space and it is very much important so that this gap should be you know very minimum so that you are not having very much of the losses and uh, if it is too close then during the thermal elongation it may rub against each other so that is also a very catastrophic failure which anyone can have in their turbines so uh, both sides so you have to avoid the higher uh, spaces as well as the minimum uh, gap also so this is how the wheel space is talked about and then you have this wheel space uh, measurement for many of the other reasons uh, like it will give you a indication that okay as you are increasing the load your the wheel, wheel space temperature should also increase and you can compare uh, between you know uh, you done a major overhaul or a major inspection of your machine and then you can monitor at full load what is your wheel space temperature 
and uh, before going to the next uh, combustion inspection or LGPI, you can monitor okay what is the change in at that particular road wow my wheel space temperature is changing so it will give you a kind of indication here how turbine health is changing over the period of time so that kind of indication is also you can get through wheel space and there may be another uh, uh, things like let's say you uh, stopped the machine you stopped your machine for one inspection or shutdown so uh, when you can uh, open the machine so uh, wheel space will give you a overall you know idea that okay how my different stages of uh, turbine uh, sections over uh, over the entire length uh, is cooled or new and maybe uh, another another factor would be if you have to do the water wash so water wash also has certain criteria that okay your wheel space temperature should be between such and such limit so that you get a uh, you are not hitting your uh, materials to a very high thermal shock plus you are giving them a little bit of you know temperature change so that uh, the uh, the material which i which are there on the uh, surface may get some you know expansion and contraction so that they can loosen up so that kind of indication your uh, wheel space temperature can give you okay So now uh, we are talking about uh, uh, how these you know temperature sensors are placed. So what we have seen in the previous slide. So these uh, sensors are uh, you know there are holes in the casing and uh, small you know uh, thermocouples are placed inside that uh, particular holes to understand the different uh, uh, positions. So if you see here in this. Uh, uh screen uh, let me see if i can maximize or zoom in here no i don't have that option no problem so if you see uh, the uh, the nomenclature here it is one f uh, so basically let us see from this side so there are four sensors on the first stage second stage and third stage respectively and then you have inner and outer so uh, first stage inner first stage means first stage you saw that there is a one wheel space and in that wheel space uh, i mean uh, between let me use this uh, pen so let's say this is the first stage nozzle and then you have first stage bucket okay sorry nozzle and bucket okay and then this is a first stage uh, wheel space the gap between the wheels so you have forward and outer so forward sorry forward inner and aft outer so forward forward means this is the forward side forward size and inner inner means you have one sensor here and another sensor here so that is how it is uh, you know uh, that inner and aft size outer one and outer two so this is how the first stage wheel stage uh, space temperature is there and similarly on the second stage also so if you see uh, first stage forward inner one first stage forward inner two and then you have uh, aft aft is the rear side of the bucket so you have a first stage aft outer one and then you have first stage aft outer two similarly if we let's say uh, this is uh, your bucket in the second stage and this is the nozzle in the second stage then you have similar forward outer and aft outer so uh, here you can say second stage forward outer one second stage forward outer two and then second stage aft outer one second stage aft outer two so this is how the nomenclature are uh, there so that you understand which uh, thermocouple is based on what and it will give you an idea that okay, how your uh, overall this turbine section how it is you know evenly cooled or not what are the different areas where the temperature is how much uh, changing or over, you have taken a shutdown whether your machine entire machine is cooling or not so that's the kind of view you can get with this wheel space temperature 
So that's a very quick one on uh, letting you know how the wheel space uh, are you know staged one after other, how the nomenclature are there, and what is the basic reason for having those wheel space temperature. If you have any further question, you can definitely ask me in the comment section. I'll be uh, trying to help you uh, whenever I find time. I'll try to respond to those questions. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.